Hey everybody, this is Dave here at Pulp Alley and today we are going to show you how to set up this table for the scenario that we are playing this Sunday in the Pulp Alley Tabletop Skirmish Game. This is a really fun game, you got to check it out. Now, every Sunday we play a live game and for this Sunday, what is it? I think we're up to scenario number three. 30 out of our scenario of the month series and this one is called the preacher so uh, before we get too much further though will you take a moment and click the like button and if you're not a subscriber click the subscribe button if you're already a subscriber make sure you click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload a new video and now let's take a look at getting this table set up for the scenario called the preacher uh, I'm using a game mat, a three foot by three foot game mat by Monster Fight Club. That's what that is. Now, I know the preacher has to stay in the middle of the table. So I'm going to go ahead and set him out there. I, I roll out our tray or our our, uh, our utility cart that has some of our uh, uh, terrain that I want to use for this scenario. And, and for this scenario, I'm thinking New Mexico. I'm probably thinking somewhere around Roswell area. So I'm using a lot of our old adobe buildings now. Mila and I made these well over 10 years ago. Uh, this was a little project that we made together. Almost all of these the buildings that you're going to see here were scratch built. Uh, we made these uh, years and years ago. Lots and lots of fun. So I'm just putting them out there. And, and, and uh, putting the table together to me is like almost like a work of art or something you know I, I kind of adjust it every piece of terrain that I put out I almost look at it again and go okay well I'm going to shift this just a little bit um, I've got the buildings out there I'm adding some barrels and boxes and things like that here I'm adding some cactus those cactuses uh, are available through Pegasus Hobbies uh, really nice hard plastic cactus um, really like those and put out some uh, boulders uh, barrels put out some bags of like uh, grain and stuff like that lots of extra little doodads out there just to bring the terrain to life add a pickup out there in front of the cantina and that for me kind of changes it from being an old west setting to popping it up to the 30s or 40s or 50s you know something like that makes it a little more pulpy if if you have a vehicle sitting out there otherwise it could just be you know an old west setting which is perfectly fine this scenario i almost thought about just doing it as an old west scenario so i'm going to use these fires as the portals or at least i thought i was as i was setting this up and I'm going to give you uh, some, some close-up views of, of this terrain once, once I get more of it on the table here. So here it is. Uh, I'm putting these wraiths out. There is a wraith that, that starts in play uh, for this particular scenario. And I'll show you those. They're, they're really, really cool looking. Some uh, Games Workshop stuff that I found and, and repurposed. So really nice. Put another truck out there kind of scooching things around, try to get an idea. I'm not particularly happy with the flames as the portals, so I start thinking about that a little bit, and I decide, you know what, instead of doing the flames, I'm going to put out some gravestones, and I'm going to use those graves as the portals that these wraiths are coming out of. So that's what we're going to use. And then I kind of move some, some of the cactus up around it so that... Uh, it's like those gravestones are kind of hidden back in there a little bit. Very cool. I'm, I'm more happy with that now. So we got the, uh, got the town. So here's a view from the cantina there in front of the cantina. You see I have a pig in the back of that pickup. Here's the second one over here in front of the, uh, the smaller houses. And it's looking right at the preacher. You see him right there in the middle of the table. That's pretty cool. And the cactus there around the grave. You see the horse cart there. That's by Rubicon Models. And a lot of little odds and ends. Just all kinds of stuff out there. If you have a question about any of this terrain specifically, there's just too many vendors or too much stuff out there to even try to list what all of it is. So you, if there's a specific question you have about something, let me know. 
uh, some of these graves were just uh, handmade. Mila made these out of some, uh, uh, like some Sculpey or something. Um, those crates, uh, the cactus, those barrels, uh, lots of fun. This is going to be a really cool scenario. Be sure and join us if you can on Sunday when we play this scenario live. Uh, it is at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Every, every week we do a new game, a live game. It is raw. It is unedited. It is a lot of fun because it means whatever happens, happens, you know. Pulp Alley is, is, plays fast, it is, it is a good game, and you're going to see a raw and unedited game on Sundays at 10 a.m. Uh, Central Time. So be sure and join us. That's all. If you have questions about the video, be sure and ask. And while you're at it, make sure you click the like and the subscribe button for us. We will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Ha, 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 ha.